I fit right in with the locals. Olvik's a friendly guy. Good to know that someone in this town is willing to help me out. So, how's business? Uh, pretty good. I mean... How? Oh. I mean, farmers bring food into the city, that's what they do. They look like local wines. If I had more time here, I'd love to try one. Magical grapes probably taste... magical. Ye old smithy. No, that's not what it says. It just says blacksmith. This is not a renaissance fair, Zoe. No magical medieval town without a blacksmith. That much I know. Hello, I'm here about the... the library. I know, it's a weird opener, but I was told that this is... Okay, we're going inside. Harmy knows. Knows what, exactly? That Kian is alive. And Shadow knows what else he told the General. They spoke. My men saw the General entering the engine room in the green. Alvani was spotted leaving the house soon after. They were alone in there with one of the engineers. Ferdows, I believe his name is. He's nowhere to be found. Harmy must have stowed him away somewhere. A witness. So he knows that you've lied to him? Oh, he will not confront you with this yet. Not until he knows why and what we're planning. Yes, Harmy is as clever as a rock snake and twice as deadly. We need to get rid of him. Mother Utana, too. He must have told her. They're thick as thieves. The only question is, have they informed the first? Not without more evidence. There's still time. You're speaking of assassination. What else would you suggest? We crossed the line long ago, Vamon. There's no way back. I can't just walk into Harmy's cell and cut his throat. It needs to look like an accident. The ceremony. It's a week from now. We can't afford to wait. We can't afford to be hasty. Until he has concrete evidence of our treachery, the General will continue his investigations. The ceremony, then. We kill them both and make it look like the work of the Resistance. But if he acts before then, I need to be ready. I need to inform those who are loyal to- Hush. Come here, my sweet. Don't worry. We will survive this. We always survive. We've worked too hard to fail now. The engine will be ours. The Northlands will be ours. The General's men will pull back to Azadir. The Council will not mount another campaign. They cannot afford it. They lack the support of the people. 
and then we return in triumph, carrying the light of the goddess, and we destroy our enemies. We rule as a dear, as we've always planned. We will not fail, my love. I will be Empress, and you, my supreme commander. This is the will of the goddess. I know it is. I know it. this place? Where are you taking me? Can someone please say something? You are the resistance, right? You know, instead of abducting me, you could have just asked nicely. I would have come with you. I wanted to come with you. Not talking? Fine. Take me to your leader. I've always wanted to say that. Shepard's busy. She'll talk to you later. So now you are speaking to me? Good. I'd like to... Wait, I remember that man, isn't that- Stop talking. Keep walking. But I know him- Shut up. Absolutely not. No. You cannot leave Mercuria now. If you go to Guillen- What if they find you? They'll kill you. So they kill me. I understand the risks, Enum. I know you want to protect him, but he is one child. If you end up dead, what do we do? You carry on. You're stronger now. You can fight them. You know that's not true. The General has brought more troops from Azadir. Our situation is precarious. I'll go with him. And make sure he stays alive. What? You will not. And we lose the both of you? We were lucky we didn't lose more people when Old Town burned. It's only a matter of time before the Azadi make a decisive strike against us. Boys, I'm as soft-hearted as a zidling schoolgirl, and Bip's my friend too, but if I agree with Shepard, we can't risk it. It's not just about the boy. If I go to Guillen, to the camps, I will find evidence of what they're doing to the Magicals. And if General Hami and Mother Otana learn the truth of what's being done to innocent creatures, perhaps they'll... Creatures? He didn't mean it like that. Right, Kian? You didn't mean it like that. He's shown that he doesn't consider magicals to be people. We still remember that child molesting Azadi officer you let go. People. Women, children, the defenseless. If Hami and Otana learn the truth, they may have a change of heart. They may pull their support. We can't win this war on our own. Vamon and Saya are too strong. With Hami's men on their side, they'll be unbeatable. But if we undermine this support, even if Hami does not join our side, our chances will improve. Force me to stay, and we only delay the inevitable. Let me go, and we could win this war. <sighs> you don't make it easy for me to lead, Kian. But maybe it's time I let you make the decisions. I won't stand in your way. I don't like this one bit. When are you leaving? Right away. If I can sneak on board a cloud ship leaving for the islands tonight. Which means there's not a lot of time. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Go be a hero or whatever.
Relations between us have been strained since you I spared that officer's me. life. You're needed here, Liko. Those prisoners? They are my people. Imprisoned by mine. This is almost certainly a suicide mission. If the Resistance loses us both, they stand no chance against the Tower. If you die, I will celebrate your death. But... I will never be their leader. You've proven yourself. They need you. Go. And stay alive. For them. For all of us. You still plan to kill me after? Of course. Well, I wouldn't want to miss that. They're bringing magicals through that gate and onto the cloud ship. That cloud ship's headed to Guillen with a new batch of prisoners. I must get on board. When's this ship taking off? In a few minutes, I think. It's fully loaded, barely any room in the hold. Is that the last of the Magicals, then? From the they led the Magicals through that gate to the Cloud Ship. So I see them around walking freely like they're actual people and not animals. That's disgusting. Oh, well, they're not really... What do you want? You're not supposed to oh, be well, here. They're not really... Bugger off before animals, we arrest you. are they? They're like... Intelligent. At least some of them. No. They're filthy animals, good riddance to them. Well, I don't know. I had a long conversation about farming with a Dolmari last year at the Rooster. She seemed nice. You'll want to be careful talking about your love for the Magicals. There's a reason they're being shipped off to the camps, you know. But I... Oh, never mind. Anyway, you should be up there keeping watch, not down here talking to me. Keon? Where are you? Oh, no, no. You're not going after him. He's not your responsibility. None of this is on you, Keon. It's not just the one life, Anna. It's not just Bip. The Azadi take the Magicals to the islands. They're not given passage to the Southlands. They never come back. It's all a lie. 
the old and the young families sent away to die, forgotten by everyone. That ends now. I refuse to forget. The resistance will persevere without me. I'm not really one of them. I never was, I never will be. I'm a Zadi. You're a Zadi. So what? I'm not saying what they're doing is acceptable, but... Are you going to free every magical on your own? Take on the entire Azadi army single-handed? You're being stupid and emotional and... And you're being selfish. You're leaving us when we need you the most. You're leaving me. Again. What do you mean by... My name isn't Anna. I use a different name in every city. It's safer that way. In Sadir, I was Elena, but... I never told you my name. You don't recognize me. That's fair, I've changed. You haven't, except for the, you know, it's a good look for you. You're the girl I saved from Vamon's gang. Yeah, I'm the girl. Well, that's it. I spent every day these past 20 years thinking about you, and I'm the girl. Oh, I feel so special now. Forgive me, Anna. Elena. I do remember you. Vamon was trying to... Hurt me. And they would have killed me too if it hadn't been for you. You risked everything and you stood up for me. That was the first time anyone had shown me any kindness. You brought me to Mother Ritana and she took care of me for a while. I watched you from a distance for years until I was uh, forced to leave Sadir. But I knew I'd find you again someday, Kiana Vane. That was... a long time ago. I was a different person. No. You were a different person in between, but now? Now you are the boy I knew from all those years ago. The boy with his eyes and heart wide open. The boy who risked his life for others. The boy who... Oh, God damn it. This is why you have to go. Not because you're Azadi, or because you're the Apostle, or the great hero of the Resistance, or because of your goddess, or... Or because you're selfish. You have to go because this is who you are. The boy who saved my life. Will you help them while I'm gone? This isn't my war, Keon. Maybe not. But it is mine. And I believe what happens here will change the balance for all time to come. I didn't know you believed in the balance. I didn't. Will you help the Resistance in my absence? Fine. Fine, I'll help them. You're not pulling away this time. What was that for? For love, you idiot. I've loved you since you lifted me out of that gutter and saved my life. I've loved no one else. I don't know if I can... It's taken me over 20 years to find you. You'd better fucking come back, or believe me, Kianavane, I will go to the first mountain and drag you back, kicking and screaming, to the world of the living. Civilian, you're in violation of martial law.
Kian! Do not leave without me! Quick, pull me up! I could use his help on this mission. Take my hand! Hold on! Why did you pull me up? You begged me to. Ah, you're infuriating. Because I pulled you up? Because you continue to give me no reason to hate you. Aside from murdering your father in front of you. Well, aside from that... Zoe? 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 Shoo, bird. Oh, shoo yourself, you big hairy lug. What in Charles' name it? I know you. 
You arrived with that Stark girl yesterday. You're her bird. Her bird? I am my own bird, I'll have you know. Her bird. Psst. The nervous on people. Besides, I lost her. She done gone vanished on me. I am, it seems, an expert at misplacing beautiful young women. She's not misplaced. She's with... The Resistance. The Resistance. So she did find the rebels. And she didn't think to tell me. Well, some friend she turned out to be. Well, to be fair to the girl, it wasn't entirely... Uh, uh, voluntary. What do you mean? They kidnapped her. Crow to the rescue! Uh, so, where exactly did they kidnap her to? I'm not supposed to... Well, I reckon the chances of you being an Azadi spy are rather remote. And that poor girl could probably use a friend. Do you know the old Sentinel Library outside the city? Well, it's in ruins now, but beneath it, in the Enclave, you'll find your girl. Unless they took her head, in which case... Hold on, Zoe! Hold on to your head! I'm on my way! I trust you got some sleep last night? I would have, if you guys believed in bedsheets and pillows. You are fortunate to be alive, girl. Who are you? Why do you ask questions about the Resistance? I'll keep it simple. I'm Zoe. I need your help. Our help? With what? I didn't know who else to ask. I need to get to the Purple Mountains. I don't know where that is. What about the Ular? I'm sorry. Abnaxus? Of the Venar? I have heard of the Venar, but they left the Northlands. And Abnaxus? Maybe a whisper? Long ago? Nothing more. I cannot help you. Oh, damn. Is there anyone here who would know? Perhaps. But you haven't answered my question, girl. Why should we help you? For all I know, you're an agent of the Azadi. No, I'm... Zoe! She's Zoe! Balance. Don't you dare touch her head. She's on an important mission! I see. And who are you? Crow! Honorary rebel, long-term avian buddy, and occasional sidekick of April Ryan. Rebel leader, adventurer, hero, savior of the balance. That's right. Here's Crow. This is him. I'm me. So... Where's April? She can vouch for Zoe. They're best friends, tight as two chicks in a nest. I don't see April. Is she out on a mission, or sleeping in, or...? Why are you both looking at me like that? I... I thought you knew. Knew what? What's going on? What? April Ryan is dead, Bird. She was assassinated during an Azadi raid on Myria, the winter before last. She died a hero's death, and was given a hero's burial. We remember her fondly. What? I'm so, so sorry. Crow! Crow! Okay, I'm an idiot. I've heard of this bird. Crow. So, you knew April Ryan? We met a couple of times. I... I was there when she died. I found her. I tried to save her, but... 
I couldn't. So, yeah, I guess I knew April. Eel, the Stark girl. The one who dreams. They spoke of you. Bakim, Bryn, Chawan. They said you were one of us. Oh, this certainly changes things. But how did you... He's gone. Of course he's gone. I should have seen that coming. It's not like he could just let Kian go without... Oh, he's such a... Oh. Oh. Hey. Uh, your hair. It's so pretty. Thanks. Who's gone, Enu? What? Oh, oh, Liko. He vanished in the middle of the night, chasing Kian, of course. Idiots, the both of them. Maybe this is for the best. If Liko can help Kian... Kian? Big... Azadi guy. People call him the Apostle. You know him? We met once, briefly. He was kind to me. But isn't he the enemy? Was. He's with us now. Defected. Uh, yep. Well, except that he abandoned us again to go on a crazy suicide mission. He left last night. <sighs> of course. After everything that's happened, we just miss each other. Oh, Enu, this is Zoe. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Enu. You're so pretty. Uh, that came out wrong. Wanna be friends? Oh, sorry. Zoe needs our help. She has questions. Maybe you of can... Of course. No problem. Leave this to me, Shepard. I'm sorry for questioning you, Zoe. And I'm sorry I could not be of any assistance. Please, stay. Speak with Enu and the others. Perhaps someone here has the answers you're looking for. Thank you, Shepard. Where are you from? Your clothes are amazing. Where did you get them? They came with the jump. I'm from Stark. That's... Across the divide. On the flip side of the balance. The world of science. Are you serious? That's incredible. I have so many questions. I don't even know where to start. I... I'm... I am seriously worried my head might explode. I think I need to sit down. Oh, don't explode. I'm not that special. I mean, you're orange, and the ears... Ugh, I'm just a boring old zid. It's totally normal. Holy crap, Stark. I can't believe it. How did you get here? Are you a... are you a shifter? A dreamer. I just... dream myself here. Just dream yourself here. That's it. No biggie. You are the best thing I have ever seen. Seriously. <laughs> really? Okay, thank you. So, what do you need help with? Shepard said, I'm trying to find the Purple Mountains, and a tribe of magical creatures called the Ula, someone, a Venar named Abnaxus, told me to- Oh, slow down. Okay, Purple Mountains, Ular, Venar, Abnaxus, right? Nope, none of that sounds remotely familiar. I have never heard any of those words before. Of course, there are a lot of things I don't know. I'm a, I mean, I was a farm girl. A silly ziddling, there's so much I don't know. But I do know where to look for answers. Oh? Where? The library. The library holds all the answers. Do you have libraries in Stark? Never mind, silly question, of course you don't. I'll go to our library right now and start looking. Purple Mountains, Ular, Abnaxis of the Venar. Come find me when you're ready. I can't wait to spend more time with you. Oh, sorry. I was just... I mean, I, I'm not... Are you supposed to be walking around on your own? He looks guilty. What's going on here? This doesn't look right. He... Is this your room? Well, we don't... You know, we don't have our own rooms. Anyway, Keen's gone. I was just looking for... Um... It's Zoe, is it not? I'm Jakai, Benrima Salman's nephew. She said some very nice things about you. You'll have to give her my regards. How is Benrime? 
I noticed the journeyman was closed down. Yeah, she's in Coldstone. They arrested her for colluding with the resistance. She, she's due to be executed next week, unless I... Anyway, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that you're back in town. I'm sorry about your aunt. Yes. Thank you. I don't know what I'll do without her. She's the only family I have. I'm... Look, I have to go into town on an errand now, but please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. They look ready to go to war. I hope they won't have to. Their equipment-wise, the Azadi are definitely winning. But righteousness counts for a lot. Shepard. Leader of the rebels. I wish I could have I been more want to get on her bad side. And she inviting. Me a bit. If I'd known. I understand. You have to be cautious. There's much I'd like to ask you. Much I'd like to learn. But with Kian gone, my workload has increased twofold. Perhaps another time, when we're both not so preoccupied. I'd like that. I don't know what your mission is. But I have a feeling it's important, and that our destinies are entwined. We shall speak again, Zoe Castillo. When the winds have quieted, the clouds have parted, and the grass on the Great Plains stands straight and tall once more. A round table? Check. Chivalrous knights? Check. Magic? Check. That's right, this would make for a great theme restaurant. They add colour to the place, if nothing else. Naxus, Purple Mountains, Ular... I have to resist this intense desire to stroke her yellow fur. I don't think that'd be kosher. I have to resist this intense desire to stroke her yellow fur. I don't think that'd be kosher. On abscesses. Ooh, nope. That's a different type of ab. There must be something in one of these books that'll help you find what you're looking for. Give me a little more time. I'm still searching. I'm sure I'll find something useful. Eventually. Enu's really weird and very sweet and I like her a lot. I'm so, so sorry, Crow. I thought you knew. It's fine. It's not your fault. I just can't... I can't believe she's gone. But I sort of knew, you know. I felt it in my heart. And that final time we were together, it wasn't... It wasn't like it used to be. It was weird. 
like too much time had passed and we drifted apart. I should have known it wouldn't last. He's not alone in feeling that. How can you ever know something like that? He's not alone in feeling that. I know that feeling. It's something you just have to learn to live with. I know. I will. Were you there when she... Perhaps better to avoid the topic and get him thinking about other things. I witnessed the whole thing. But should I tell Crow that? I was there. I saw it happen. I tried to help her, to save her. I know I was supposed to, but I... couldn't. Not your fault. Bad things happen. People die. Life goes on. Anyway. Did I help with, you know, the rebel thing? Did they believe you? That you're not a spy? You did. They do. It's fine now. They'll help us. Good. 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 They're not gonna cut your head off? What? No? Good. Good. I wish I could have been more helpful. But it was ten years ago. And I didn't really pay attention to what April said about that Abnaxis chap. It's okay. If you don't mind, I need to be alone for a little while. Clean my feathers, sharpen my beak, reflect on the nature of life. Bird stuff. Totally understand. I'll find you in the city. The Turtle Mountains. Hmm. Believed to be the petrified remnants of three titan turtles that rose from Orlewal, Umpus, Oxman. Oi, I've been trying to find a book or scroll or manuscript or map or torn note page or ancient magical tome or pamphlet or a piece of cloth that mentions the Purple Mountains or the Ular, but no luck. It's really frustrating. This library has never let me down before. Bad library. She seems so curious about me, and I haven't asked her a single question. There must be something here. She seems so curious. Enu, right? I don't feel we were properly introduced. I know you are. I mean, no, uh, yes. <clears throat> you're right. Enu. I am Enu. I hope you're staying a while. It would be so great to have someone around who's not a surly warrior with the mommy issues, or a stoic leader, or a battle-hardened soldier, or just batshit insane. I mean, there's Jakai. He's pretty normal, except for his aunt issues, but he's a bit too... Ugh. Hey, so, uh, what do you do when you're not saving the world? I go to school. I mean, I did. Then my world started shutting down, so no more school. I went to school too! Until I was ten, and then my father taught me how to ride a leap fur and hunt jumpers in the jungle. Also, I had to work at the farm. Didn't leave a whole lot of time for schoolwork, or anything else. I feel we have so much in common! Okay. Yeah. Maybe. I can't wait to talk more about all these things we have in common. We must have a sleepover! There must be something here. So, no luck? Nothing. Sorry. And I've read most of these before. I can't remember coming across any of those words you mentioned. There's not much else to do here in the evenings except read. I don't really have any female friends. It gets lonely. Anyway, I've been through all the encyclopedias and travelogues, but... Nothing about the Purple Mountains or the Ula? Nothing. I mean... The Purple Mountain sounds colloquial. It may have a different name officially, but the Ular, there should be something about them. It's a magical race? They didn't look human. Weird, there's nothing about them. They must be very isolated, or... Or? Or someone's trying to hide something. 
Which would be weird and very hard to pull off. Forget I said that. This, I'm on a deadline. I should just cut this short. This is where I try to connect and make friends. You just joined the Resistance? Oh, yes. Uh, no. Not really just. About half a year ago? Wait, more than that. Time flies when you're having fun. Well, fun. Sometimes you need to make the best out of a bad situation. Right. And it's my duty. We're doing good, important work here. Also, I didn't want to end up living the life my parents wanted for me. I can identify with that. This is so nice. I wish we were sisters. Can we be sisters? You don't have to answer that. Um, do you have any siblings? I did. Uh, sort of. Long story. You? Oh, lots. Boyfriend! Do you have one of those? I do. I think. We haven't spoken in a while, and he doesn't know... I think we need to have a long talk when I... if I get back home. It's been a very tough year, for the both of us. I was asleep for a long time. I forgot a lot of the stuff that happened to me before I fell asleep. I tried to remember, but I couldn't. Until my memories caught up with me. Oh, Jesus. It's a long story. Very complicated. Maybe another time? Yes, uh, please? I'm on a... I guess I'll have to look elsewhere. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I really thought I'd find something. I feel terrible. I... Do you want to be my friend? Oh, I already asked you that. I'm coming on too strong, aren't I? I am, I can tell. Stop it, Enu. No, not at all. That's... I'd love to be friends. And... Thank you for helping me. Much good that did. I really wish I knew who else could- For the love of the festering demon shrimps of Jaharva, do I have to do everything in this place? I didn't spend all those years living on the streets of Mercuria, pilfering food and liberating fat purses to deal with this shite. I swear I'd be better off going back to sleeping in Abnaxus's stone tree if I can't even get a mattress that isn't flea and maggot infested. Do your bleeding jobs, people. Is that too much to ask? That guy looks familiar, but I'm not quite sure where I... <gasps> Blind Bob? Eh? What? Who's asking? Well, blessed be me straight britches. You're the last what brought me mulled wine back when I'd hit rock bottom in Mercuria. What in the name of the eight-eyed octo-god of Tartillus are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Except for, you know, uh, not, not those words, exactly. Oh, I left me life of beggaring behind. Cleaned myself up. Joined the resistance. I'm a general now. I'm making a difference. General? I just can't imagine how the blind Bob I met in Mercuria turned into this man. He was... Theoretically blind, but now he can see. It makes less and general. Didn't he just mention Abnaxus? It's a long shot, but... I just... he was... What happened to your theoretical blindness? Cured! I was blind, theoretically, but now I can see. To be honest, some days I wonder if I ever was theoretically blind. Or if it was all hypothetical, You know, just in my head, like. Oh, um... It was simpler being blind Bob and resorting to beggaring and vagrancy than taking a long, hard look at myself in a speculum. Particularly on account of the blindness. I wish me old pa could have lived to see me. He always believed in me. Even when I didn't. To the bitter end, 
He told me I had potential. I nodded and wept and promised him I'd try my best. Then, as he drew his last ragged breath, I stole his purse and his breeches. Well, Pa, I'm sorry about the breeches. I'm making something of life now. Making something of myself. I'm no longer blind, Bob. Call me Bob who can see. Do you know someone called Abnaxus? Abnaxus? Now there's a name I haven't heard spoken in years. Where do you know it from? Sorry, I just overheard. Actually, I met Abnaxus recently. Well, I dreamed about Abnaxus. Or maybe it was more like a vision. This sounds crazy, I know, but... Sounds completely sane to me, lass. Abnaxus turning up in visions, hmm? That's exactly the sort of fellow he was. Persistent, unpredictable, and not a little annoying. I met him when he was the Venar ambassador to Irid. Uh, this was before the gutters, when I was still a dapper chap on the Mercurian party circuit. We hit it off, especially seeing as I was going blind, theoretically, and he saw everything, past, present, and future. Years later, as he was leaving town, he entrusted me with the key to his home, said to take care of it. I'd sleep there from time to time. Very uncomfortable buck. Musty smell of ancient books and foreign weeds. I didn't much care for it, to be honest. Jen? I'm sure he said... You said something about a key to Abnaxus's house? They called it the abode back then. Abnaxus's abode. Primitive accommodations, but luxurious location. Prime real estate. Central with a garden view. Very quiet at night. And the key? D do you still have it? Sorry, this is really important. Oh, I, I carry it with me every day. After all, it is a magic key. Figured it might do me lumbago some good. What about this house? I mean, the abode? Ah, also still there, and not hard to find. Sits right circle in the centre of the city green. Abnaxus carved it out of a petrified tree with his own morbidly huge hands. A few years ago, the authorities turned it into an historical landmark. Of course, no one can get inside on account of the Venar magic. Not without the key, at least. This key? Can I... Oh, sure. Heavier than it looks, ain't it? Hmm? More powerful than iron. Worth its weight in precious stones, and then some. This magic goes back to the first magic. None of that modern hocus-pocus. You feel it in your fingers when you hold it. Tingles, don't it? It does. Sorry, I know this is asking a lot, but can I... Borrow it? Why? Why not? I stun the lumbago no good. And I don't have much use for the place, now that I've a proper bunk here. But keep it safe. Abnaxus left most of his belongings behind and entrusted me with their care. I'd hate to betray that trust. I promise.
You spoke with the General. Did you find what you were looking for? It's a step in the right direction. Good. I've asked them to ready a boat for you. Whenever you're ready, it will take you into the city. I may not fully understand your role, Zoe, but there's something about you that... I've learned to have faith in the balance. The balance provides. The balance guides. It's guiding you now. You must let it take you wherever it leads, like a leaf on a river. Bend to its will. I'll try. May your gods favor your journey. You'll be in my thoughts and dreams. <laughs>